good morning. Welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 16 and today verses 16 to 18. Let's get some more about this manna thing. This is what the Lord has commanded. Gather of it every man as much as he should eat. You shall take an omer apiece according to the number of the persons each of you has in his tent. The sons of Israel did so and some gathered much and some little. When they measured it with an omer, he who had gathered much had no excess, and he who had gathered little had no lack. Every man gathered as much as he should eat. Okay, so notice, everybody needs to participate in the gathering, and it's going to be in the morning. You've got to get up and get it in the morning. We'll talk about that tomorrow, but everybody's involved in the gathering. So, like, you can't just trust your, your tribal leader or... Uh, your pastor, or whatever it is, and he's going to gather the manna for us. And when we come in on the Sabbath, uh, we're going to, you know, he's going to feed us. You know, we'll get a whole week at one time. And listen, you don't do that with regular food. You don't say, well, my wife's going to cook up a big meal on Monday and we're just going to eat for the next seven days all on Monday. That's not going to work. And it's not going to work spiritually either. You need to be fed every day. You need to receive manna from heaven, bread from heaven, day by day. They needed literal food day by day. You and I, we have the privilege of gathering literal spiritual food day by day. And we need to get it. We should get it every morning. Every morning before we get into our day, let's go to God's stuff and let God you know, impact our life. Now, another thing is we're used to gathering up and kind of stockpiling because we don't know like when we might not have something. God is promising, I'm going to provide for you, you know, every day. So there, he's going to teach them a lesson of trust. But what do we have here? We're going to have people who probably want, some want to gather more, or some won't gather as much. And I think they're going to store this stuff. Well, that's, we'll say more about that tomorrow, but it's not to be stored. It's not going to work even for them to store it. It's going to be physically impossible for them to store it, except with an exception we'll be talking about. Finally, I want you to notice that God gives enough for every person to have a sufficient amount of food. Uh, they are put, told here how they gather it, and they're to gather enough for each person. So, you know, if you've, got, if you've got 20 people in your household, if you've got eight people or three people in your household, you gather enough for, those, for that amount of people, and God is going to give them enough for everybody to have what's needed. Oh, and right here at verse 18, it says that it all worked out rather smoothly. When they were done gathering and measured it all up, they had exactly the amount needed. So God will give us exactly what we need day by day, but we need to get out there and gather it first thing in the morning. There's a pretty good plan. There's a reason for that. See you tomorrow morning.